Hello, this is KK School Corner here, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Valentine's Day at the time I'm drawing this, and as an artist, sometimes I have problems figuring things out because it's part of your journey that you figure things out on your own. However, there were some tips that I kind of wish I had known earlier. I can tell you these tips so that you don't have to go through the struggle of a lot of wasted art pieces. And of course, since it's Valentine's Day during this video, you also get to see me drawing a heart. That will be cute. So, my first tip is that with art supplies, you pay for what you get. And I heard this from like so many YouTube tutorials, but I ignored them because I'm like, this costs way too much. I'm gonna buy my own stuff for cheaper. But like, there's a significant difference. And of course it worked for me for a while, but then when I wanted to move to more advanced techniques, I couldn't because I don't really blend as well. So now I have to spend all my time rebuying art supplies when I would rather not do that personally because it costs way more to like buy cheap things and then rebuy expensive things and to just buy expensive things. My second tip is to be careful when you're using the color black because black is, can look very unnatural in the world. If you think about it, black doesn't really exist. Um, because light reflects on it and then it becomes warmer or cooler depending on what is around it. So I used to just outline everything I had in black and that was a terrible idea because now all my paintings I have when I was younger, I cringe at them because they all kind of look like coloring books. So the way that you use black is you don't just outline everything in black, you gotta make a chromatic black. And what that means is that you kind of have to mix, I'd say, like, tungsten red, ultramarine, and your earth color. And it doesn't have to be tungsten red and ultramarine. It could be, like, any combination of dark colors. And then that's your chromatic black. My third tip is to be careful how you use your eraser as well. When you use your eraser too much, your paper tends to deteriorate. So what I do to prevent like having just these weird like sketch marks and dents is to practice first on like a crappy piece of paper so you kind of know kind of the gist of what you're doing. And also to use a good eraser, you need a quality eraser a plastic eraser, not a rubber one. Those don't do very well. And you need to not lose it. And that'll help you a bunch. Also, I think sometimes I struggle with this because I'm kind of a perfectionist. And I guess if you erase less and then kind of just go with the flow, it will help with your problems um, with like eraser marks and pencil smudges and all of that stuff that you don't want ever. So this next one is kind of a little bit of an unpopular opinion, so I guess take it with a grain of salt in that you, people like have all these different types of pencils, like hard pencils, and soft pencils, blah blah blah. For sketching out a design, like for doing, sketching out something that's not just going to be graphite, I usually just like to use a regular number two pencil, like an HB number two school pencil, because people tell you to use hard pencils because they have lighter marks but then you tend to press harder because then you need to be able to see the marks so then it leaves dents in your paper and that is no bueno um, because those don't go away and then they just kind of leave as like white streaks um, also soft pencils are, are a pain because they smudge so I just use a normal school pencil and final tip for you today is to not search up the new art trends. I used to do this a lot because I wanted to sell my artwork. It didn't work. I still can't sell them with my artwork. Big sad. And I just realized that like you don't really want your artwork to blend into this stuff on Pinterest. Like I was into like all this like unicorns, Disney princess BS that everybody's into. But you want something that will stand out. You want something that will speak to people and say something. Alright, that concludes my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, smash that like button. Um, like you want to break your computer. 
And who knows, maybe subscribe a bit. Thank you. Goodbye.